get the sense from talking to people and just looking at the sheer number of transactions that are happening that at least in Manhattan things are going sort of gangbusters to some extent. Well, they, they are, um, but one thing we have to be cognizant of is that whenever you have an externality affect the marketplace, it always impacts people's behavior. And there are a lot of people who you see them on TV all the time saying that tax policy doesn't change what people do. They're going to do what they're going to do anyway. Well, history has shown us that's not the case. Um, it, in 1986, there was a major revision to the tax law that created a lot of selling in 1986. In fact, the, the December that was most reminiscent to me of what we just went through. A lot of people were likening the fourth quarter of 2012 to 1987, yeah. 86. Right, absolutely. So you saw a spike then, then uh, volume dropped, uh, then it went back up. And it, if you smoothed out the trend, it was clear that 1988 was going to be the market cycle. It's just the tax law change actually effectively stole activity from it's 1987 and brought it forward. And we see this with any externality. You saw it with the Cash for Clunkers program where car sales started to go crazy and then they dropped after the program ended. Uh, the first time home buyers tax credit had the same impact on the housing market. Um, so this was not at all surprising to see this big spike. The one thing that was interesting was that the overall market didn't exceed what it was at the peak. Uh, and in the boroughs, we've, we've seen that the volume of, uh, of buildings sold is still 35 to 50 percent below peak levels. So while people were very cognizant about uh, profit taking in the Manhattan submarket, they weren't really doing the same thing out in the boroughs. And is that because the profits aren't there, or there are just different drivers to those markets? I think there are different drivers. I think turnover in the boroughs is always lower than it is in Manhattan. If you, if you look at the Manhattan turnover over the long term, going back to 1984, out of the total stock of buildings, the average turnover is about 2.6%. Uh, that average may actually increase with this 4.2% last year. But um, you know, in the boroughs, it's, it's in the high ones. So it, it tends to be longer, longer term holders out in the boroughs and the more opportunistic buyers are focused mainly on, on Manhattan and particularly foreign buyers. Foreign buyers will almost in every case want to buy something in Manhattan as opposed to the outer boroughs and as their economies go, so goes their appetite for wanting to hold Manhattan property versus selling it, etc.